Now let's understand what is the meaning of the main features of the graph and we'll try to understand the making uh, comparisons and operations. Okay. Now let's understand this graph. I'll draw a graph over here. So this shows the population of three states of India. Population of, uh, let's say, population of Andhra, population of Karnataka, and population of Maharashtra. So it shows the population of three states of. Okay. So, Karnataka and Maharashtra. Okay. So, what kind of a graph is this called first of all? So, this is called a line graph because it is represented with the help of a line. Now, you will never get one line graph. You will ne never get a graph like this. Okay. So, you will say that it decreased, it increased and then it, in, it, it increased suddenly. No, not such simple graph. Because you will not be able to make, can you make a comparison when there is only one line graph? No, right. So, you will always have more than you will have three or more lines. If you get a line graph, you will have more than you will have at least three or more than three uh, lines uh, shown in a line graph, so that you can make comparisons. Then only comparison is possible, right? Now look at this end, this line, the line for this one. Okay, I highlight this line. Look at this line. So how will we describe this line? First it decreases, then it increases, then again decreases, increases, decreases, increases, then decreases to, to the minimum and then rises, right? This is how we will we'll define it. But the answer was correct, that Ashwarya's answer was correct, no, we will not describe it like that. That is the meaning of identifying the main features. The word for this is fluctuation. If you write like this, first increase, then decrease, then again increase, then decrease, increase, decrease, that shows that you have not been able to identify the main features of the graph. Right? You are writing about every small thing that is going on. You will lose marks for under that. Do you all understand this? What is the mean, meaning of identifying the main features? You have to just write about very high increase, very high decrease and not about everything. Just the most important things that are going on in a graph. Okay. And how will you make comparisons? Never. So, few students, how do they write is, they take the first line, they write about the second line. Then they write about the... Uh, sorry, they first write about the first line graph, then the second line graph, and then the third line. Should you write like that? Should you write individually about uh, for all the line for all the lines in the graph? Because if you are writing individually for all the graphs, where are you making comparisons? So you have to you, yes, that has to be comparative. It's not that first you write about the first line and then about the second line and then about the third line. You have to go on comparing while you are writing. You have to say that while it was increasing, what was happening to the second graph? While this was decreasing, what was happening to the third graph, right? So, that is the most important thing that you have to keep in mind.